Hi tutors and mentors, Dr. Trammell and Dr. Bruce here in just a minute. This session is going to be a virtual discussion slash lecture on end of year strategies for tutors and mentors. So we will uh, be talking first about tutors and, and then Dr. Bruce will talk about mentors. What we want to do is give you a chance to go to this virtual session and then respond electronically and if we can work all the details of this out we'll do this in lieu of a staff meeting tomorrow and this will be our our training piece for this month so for tutors i want to ask you what do you do differently at the end of the year how do you help students prepare for finals differently than they prepare for other tests of course that depends on whether finals are actually just a unit test like other tests during the semester or whether they're cumulative most finals are cumulative. They expect you to rely on information that you've accumulated and skills that you've built over the semester. So the way you study for them is going to be different. Um, studying for a unit test tends to be content driven. Studying for a final tends to be more of a, um, a connection and a webbing exercise where you try to make meanings out of the different content you've gathered uh, throughout the semester. So as tutors, I want to challenge you to think about how you're going to help students, 2Ts that you work with, study differently for finals than they study for mm -hmm. unit tests. And we're right there at this point where finals are really only a week or two away. Um, also, second thing, is it too early to start encouraging your 2Ts to be preparing for finals? What could they be doing now to get ready for those? That's actually part of question one, too. They should be preparing now, and as tutors, you should be reminding them. I know that you have a unit test we're working on, but it's not too soon to spend 30 minutes a night um, reviewing the things that you will need to put together for the final, especially those that are cumulative. The third thing on my list that I want to mention is to ask you and remind you to talk with all your professors in, or as many as you can, the professors in your department or areas uh, in these last couple of weeks here. If you haven't done this, please plan to do this. Touch base with them by email when you see them in class or when you go to their department area. And find out what you need to do to best assist students in your content area in these last weeks of the semester. I know in sociology, for example, that um, there are very specific kinds of things you would want to be doing at this point. For example, making summaries of the readings that you've done this semester so that you have one place where you can go and see all of the different things you've read this semester in one place and sort of that helps you mentally try to map and make those connections to those large themes in the course. The fourth thing on my list for tutors is to please encourage all of your students that you work with, your two T's, to complete the evaluation form that WC Online automatically generates. This is important. We need the feedback about our services and we're hoping to increasingly use that feedback to fine tune some of the things that we do. The fifth thing is that if you've done especially something well, done something especially well this semester, we'd like to know about it. So what is that? Be thinking about that. Be reflecting about that. Even as busy as it is these last couple of weeks, once summer starts, you generally will be gone and we won't have a chance to interact with you as much. So doing some reflection these last couple of weeks, try to, try to build a little bit of time for that. What could you work on to be even more effective as a tutor? And so if we were to just catch you in the hall in the next couple of weeks and ask you one of those things, hopefully you get a chance to think about this a little bit and maybe have a response. The last thing I want to mention before talking um, about mentors, and I'll turn it over to Dr. Bruce for a minute, you may be designated as a tutor for a newly hired person to shadow in May. Um, please be receptive and encourage interaction with the new person in your area. You probably already know them since most of our majors and minors are small enough that people take classes together. Um, but make it easy for them to sort of see what you do and the things that you think uh, work well in your area and uh, make them feel welcome, of course. So, tutors, um, those are some things to be thinking about here as we wind down the year. 
And now Dr. Bruce is going to briefly talk about some things for mentors. Thank you, Dr. Trammell. Uh, there is some overlap, of course, between what he is talking about for tutors to be thinking about and doing and what I'm going to ask the mentors to be thinking about and doing. Um, just as in uh, tutoring, it's never too early for mentors to begin helping mentees to prepare for finals. What can they do, be doing now to get ready for finals? Um, there is a new handout available in the copy room in Neville, and that is how to get on track the second half of the semester. And what it includes is a to-do list for each week of the uh, rest of the semester. You might look at this, and it may foster some ideas on your own that you can discuss with your mentees, but they do need to get organized for each week of the remainder of the semester. Um, the second item I wanted to mention to you mentors is procrastination. And now that spring is here, we think, and the weather is getting nicer most times, uh, we find ourselves sometimes wanting to be outdoors and not doing the things that we need to be doing. So procrastination is a problem for all of us. We have uh, a new procrastination quiz available that was developed by some mentors uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, copies of this are in the uh, copy room here in Neville. And I'd like for you all to think about some ideas about how to stop procrastinating that you can share with your mentees. So think about procrastination and don't put that off. Do it now. Um, the third thing I want to mention was the same thing that Dr. Crammel mentioned about um, encouraging your mentees to complete evaluation forms that are generated when they meet with you and you put their session record into WC online. This is important for us. It helps us with planning. It helps us with training. It helps us to give you feedback appropriately. Um, item four, what have you done especially well this semester? This is time for you to brag. This is um, a bragging right, um, our ITE. Um, tell us what you've been doing that is especially effective that we could perhaps use to training our mentors that we're hiring now for next year. And always, uh, in, if you're in a teaching and academic support kind of setting, you need to be reflecting on what works and what doesn't work. What have you done well and what could you work on to be even more effective in your position? So be thinking about that as well. And finally, you will um, be designated, perhaps, as a mentor buddy with some of the new mentors that we are hiring for next year. We're hiring a large mentoring staff for next year as we anticipate a large freshman class. So be thinking about um, some things that you might be sharing with your um, buddy when they ask to meet with you or talk with you. And if they want to attend a mentoring session with you, be sure to get permission from your mentees before you have them sit in with you. And now, uh, to close, Dr. Trammell is going to tell you what you need to do to respond to the video. Here's how we know if you've been listening. <laughs> um, we'd like for you to complete this interactive staff meeting this month. Go to the HACC website, click on the Blooming button, and as you've been thinking about this, either as a tutor or a mentor, or as if you're in that role as, a, as both, to send us a brain-friendly strategy for the students you're going to be working with here the final few weeks. So you can just use the Blooming button and we will get a copy of that. Make sure you send that in by, say, Monday at the latest, but uh, hopefully sooner if you have a chance to watch this tomorrow instead of regularly attending our in-person staff meeting. So that's it. We hope you uh, enjoy this and come up with some good ideas on your own, and we'll see you soon. Have a great week.